What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you caught my last vlog, you know that I spent last weekend in Austin, Texas at NVIDIA's Editor's Day, learning all about their upcoming flagship video card, the GTX 1080. I even scored a review sample of the Founders Edition so I can show you guys some proper benchmarks. However, this card is still under embargo until an undisclosed date. So what exactly can I tell you about this thing until then? Well, first off, there seems to be some confusion as to what the Founders Edition of the GTX 1080 really is. And to put it quite simply, the Founders Edition is NVIDIA's reference design. So instead of calling this a reference card, it's now being called the Founders Edition. That's it. It doesn't feature a binned GPU or a custom PCB or anything like that. However, it will be available for purchase for the entire duration of the GTX 1080's life. Additionally, the Founders Edition will cost $699 at the time of launch, which is $100 more than the offerings we can expect to see from add-in board partners. Kind of sounds switched around from how it's been in the past. So you might be asking, why pay more for a reference card that's had no custom work done, so to speak, to potentially improve its thermals, acoustics, or speed? Well, I can't speak on behalf of NVIDIA, but based on my own speculation, there is something to be said about an original piece of work that hasn't been tampered with. I keep thinking back to something like a classic car, and how it might not be as desirable or even as valuable to some if its internal parts have been drastically modified in order to run faster, for example. Of course, not everyone is bound to feel this way about the Founders Edition, but this shift in branding and market availability seems to be phasing out the whole entry-level connotation previously associated with NVIDIA's reference cards. Now, I did throw in some specs in my vlog, but here's a chart of what we know so far about the 1080 and less extensively the 1070, which will be launching on May 26th. 7th and June 10th respectively. With the GTX 1080, we're seeing 25% more CUDA cores over its predecessor and a significantly faster base and boost clock. Memory also brings home some huge gains with 8 gigs of GDDR5X at 10 gigahertz, not to mention an impressive TDP of 180 watts. Now you may recall at their event that Nvidia showed off a GTX 1080 hitting a clock speed of 2.1 gigahertz at just 67 degrees Celsius, but we're unsure exactly as to how this was achieved, whether it was cooled on air or liquid, or if the system was dropped into a tub of dry ice or something. So I'm pretty excited to try replicating these numbers myself to see just how realistic they are. On top of that, Nvidia's claim of the 1080 outperforming two GTX 980s in SLI came as a big surprise to all of us. And if this bold statement actually checks out, I wouldn't be surprised to see a sizable price drop on the 980 to keep it from becoming an overpriced coaster. At a glance, the most obvious physical change that the 1080 brings is a new industrial design with a full cover backplate. And while the vapor chamber and single blower style fan don't deviate much from what we've seen in the past, the card's single 8-pin PCIe port is a strong indication of improved power efficiency from the new 16 nanometer FinFET Pascal architecture. Display I.O. on the card has also been amped up to feature three DisplayPort 1.4 ports capable of driving 4K at 120Hz, a single HDMI 2.0B port, and one Dual Link DVI. Now there's much more to discuss about this card, but unless I want a bunch of men in green suits to show up at my doorstep, I'm afraid that's all I can say for now. So far, this is chalking up to be a promising launch for NVIDIA, but let me know in the comments what expectations you guys have for the GTX 1080, and whether you think all of this hype is worth buying into. That's gonna do it for now, guys. Be sure to toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and check the description below for newly restocked shirts in every size and design. Also, feel free to bookmark my Amazon affiliate link down there and use it when you buy stuff. It helps me a lot. As always, I'm Kyle with Awesome Zells Network. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video.